Very good morning, beloved in the Lord. I greet you in His wonderful name, the name above all names. Today is Saturday the 6th of February and our theme for today is Jesus, the beloved Son of God, based on Matthew 3 verse 17. And I trust that God will bless you as you listen to His word now and always. Amen. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Our scripture reading is taken from Matthew 3, verse 17. Behold, a voice out of the heaven said, This is my Son, with whom I am well pleased. God was pleased with Jesus for who he was, not for what he hath done. We often tell ourselves, if I can be more disciplined, or if only I had made better choices, then Jesus would be proud. The truth is, Jesus is well pleased with us, just as we are. Jesus is rich in mercy and ready to help even on our worst days. Jesus desires for us to seek a personal relationship with him. This is his great quest for us, to speak, to teach and to live Christ's life. The only way this is possible is to have a truly sincere one-on-one -on -one relationship with Him. This more than our good deeds satisfies Him more. Blessed be our Lord and Saviour for His great towards us. May we strive in this way to make the heart of our Redeemer happy and full of pride towards his children. Dear Lord, Father God, we come together today, dear Lord Jesus, just to give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. We thank you, dear Lord, Father God, that in you, in Jesus Christ, we can stand in your finished work. Thank you, dear Lord, Father God, that we do not have to struggle for anything, dear Lord, Father God. Thank you, dear Lord, Father God, that everything that we put on ourselves, dear Lord Jesus, has already been paid for, has already been done. We ask you, dear Lord Jesus, just to take control of our day, to lead us, to guide us, to push us into where you need us to be. We ask you, dear Lord Father God, to ordain our steps, so wherever we go, dear Lord Jesus, it is directed by you. We ask you, dear Lord Father God, to shape us, mold us, and make us into whomever it is that you need us to be, dear Lord Father God, so that your will can be fulfilled. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you for everything that you do and give and all. We pray this in your mighty and your powerful name. This whole 